Hey guys, and welcome back to Resident Evil uh, Surv Gun Survivor. Some people call it Gun Survivor, some people call it Survivor. I think it depends where you are. Uh, last time we left off, we had uh, made it through the cinema over to the open streets. So let's continue. Apparently we are Ark Thompson, some kind of serial... No, we're Vincent, aren't we? Some kind of serial murderer or something? Oh well, let's keep going. Well, that's awkward. Okay. Well, random phone ringing in a strange, unknown street. Let's keep going. Let's get the hell out of here before things get drastically worse. Things just got drastically worse. We now have liquors to fight. Luckily, we can pretty easily cheese these liquors by just hiding from them. And just showing our ass to them. They don't like our ass. They literally will ignore us. So, I mean, it's kind of silly. So, running through there, we managed to pick up an, a new key. And we picked up a uh, green herb. Which is going to be rather fantastic. Ooh. Another phone. Vincent. Who is this? Vincent? Who's that? talking about answer me who did i kill well that's ominous so we're vincent the murderer and we have uh, a terrible um voice acting as well which is awesome kids you know original uh, resident evil series actually like resident evil 2 and 3 were a massive step up from resident evil 1 but this seems to have gone uh, back, way back. So we have three different choices, three different routes. Yet again, we have the arcade, we have the library, and we have the hospital. Yeah, let's check out the hospital first, shall we? Now, it's kind of important where you want to go because we're going to get a gun here. Um... Potentially, depending on your choices, I think you can get two <laughs> guns. I won't allow you to escape. You're going to pay for what you've done. <laughs> what? Helicopter? <laughs> no. <laughs> The cleaners. Hmm. They must want this mess taken care of very quickly. Well, yeah. Umbrella wood. So that was the white man. The guy uh, dressed in white, anyway. Uh, that we saw in the beginning. Yeah. Okay. He seems to have a vested interest in us, whoever this gentleman is. Um, so, right. Let's keep going. Yeah, so we can actually get a gun um, during this stage. We can only get one. I thought it was two, but no, it is just one. We get a handgun upgrade. There's a few handguns in this game. They're all different. Um, I think there's five in total. Uh, this is handgun A, which is probably the most balanced of them. Uh, it fires pretty fast. It does average-ish slash weak damage. Um, and it reloads pretty quick. It's also got quite a decent magazine on the boy, too. But I think we can do a little bit better, don't you? <clears throat> we have, like, a zombie straight away right next to us. Which is a little bit awkward. So let's get to work on these guys, shall we? Now, you can tell this is a light gun game. Because light gun games were kind of well known for their destructible environments back in the day and we can shoot glass and things we can also shoot through glass which is quite interesting um there's a blue herb here well we'll have the blue herb just because 
You've obtained the blue herb. Yeah, we can get poisoned here a little bit. There's also a CT machine here, which looks very sus. Very sus. So let's go switch that boy on and see what we can get. It appears to be a control panel for the CT scanner. You've turned the switch on. Excellent. If you're expecting something exciting in the CT scanner, uh, scanner, scanner, you're going to be disappointed because it is literally just uh, the medicine room key. Yeah, yeah, just the medicine room key. Anyway, I suppose that's going to allow us to continue. So in a way, it's pretty useful, I guess. Um, and now one of these doors is locked. Oh, medicine room. Yeah, uh, the spelling for a lot of these doors as well is actually misspelt. <laughs> misspelt pretty badly. Uh, sometimes there are extra letters. Sometimes there's missing letters. It's questionable, to be honest. I think Capcom probably had a budget of about a couple of hundred yen to get this game out the door. And they probably finished this game with a little bit of change left over. Wow, that zombie was incredibly tough. Now, notice these zombies here are actually grabbing us, but they're not actually doing damage because unlike in the other games, you can shake, if you shake them off quick enough, you'll completely avoid getting any kind of damage at all, which is actually quite a nice mechanic. I like that. I like the fact that you can get damaged and uh, completely repel them. I'm also not sure why that zombie took so many bullets. Maybe because we're shooting him in the ass. Maybe his ass is, uh, oh god, is uh, pretty durable like ours. I want to waste him first because these guys are on a mission. And he will bite you in the face. There we go. Come on, you. Dot to death. Goodbye. Right, you have attained patience charts. Okay. Let's have a look. Medical charts of the patients. Uh, name, William J. Smith. Male, age 17. Physical condition, good. Mental health condition, uh, languid. Uh, medicine, tranquilizer, 10 milligrams in soup for every breakfast. Hallucinate, 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 5mg in bread for every dinner. Name, Jennifer Campbell. Female, 18. Physical condition good, mental condition unstable. Medicine, since she has been confined for a long time, she has become very suspicious. <clears throat> Putting drugs in her meals is ineffective as she rarely eats. It would be best to put the tranquilizer into her drinking water. Name, Rio something or other. Uh, sex male, 18. Physical condition. According to the results of an MRI, a vein tumour was found uh, at his cerebellum, worthless as a product. Oof. A vein tumour. So I guess he was literally just discarded, you know, no treatment or anything. Um, name. Carolina. Okay, female, 17. Physical condition, good. Mental condition, good. Medicine, tranquilizer, 10 mg and soup for every breakfast. So just tranquilizer for her. Okay, so they're drugging young people up. Uh, sure, I suppose. I mean, that's a very umbrella thing to do. Using them as guinea pigs for something. Okay. Hmm. What have you been doing, Vincent? What have you been doing indeed? Ooh. Let's keep going. Up the stairs. Now, if this is anything like the hospital in Resident Evil 3, it's going to be full of nasty things. Uh, so we've got... Uh, 201. Let's check 201 out. What's behind door numero uno? Ooh. A zombie yeah this zombie tries to pull a fast one but he ain't having nothing you ain't getting a bite of this hunky ass no dice right you're gone and the only actual thing in this room is a first aid spray but you know first aid spray 
definitely worth if you ask me full heal is always worth i don't know how the ranking system looks i haven't actually looked that up to be honest uh, i guess there's a ranking system um there's always a ranking system especially in a game like this you know a light gun game and resident evil so we're just gonna see what happens i don't know if you get knockdown score for using health items i'm gonna say probably at least first aid kits anyway so here's our first new weapon it's the handgun b now handgun b is not too bad it's you know a bit of a step up from handgun a uh, whereas handgun a is if we check it glock 17 this is a small lightweight gun which is made from plastic and is famous for its stability okay yeah, it doesn't actually tell us any stats or any information about these guns, but there are stats. So if we check this one, this is the CZ75. This is a small gun, which uses 9 times 19 power... Yeah, it's always parabellum. Is that all it says? Now, this gun holds two less rounds in its magazine. And if I remember correctly, it's one of the faster guns in the game. Uh, unfortunately, it has quite a long reload, uh, and it does pistol damage. So it's not fantastic, but you know, we'll grab it. There appears to be a power switch for the elevator. You've turned the switch on. Yeah, there's no puzzles. Um, you know, they could have easily turned that into some kind of puzzle. You know, switch up, switch down, switch up, switch down, that sort of thing. But nope, nothing. Nothing like that at all, sadly. So this gun's pretty good for, like, zombies and things, but, uh, you know, because it's so weak, like, I wouldn't really want to use this gun myself. But, you know, it's good to show it off, I guess. Now let's keep exploring this facility and see if we can find any goodies. Yeah, you can see just how quickly... Oh god, I forgot about him in the corner. Let's just exit the room quickly before we get munched by that zombie. I don't know if the other zombies are going to respawn. Not sure. Kind of hope not. I also don't know, like, if you leave an enemy uh, in a door, or in a room, I should say, I don't know if they regenerate their health. I'm not sure. Something weird. Oh, hey, sir. You alright there, fella? Just chilling. Just chilling. The only thing that's in here is a green herb, but we'll take it. You know, why not? Yeah, that that's gonna drive you mad. I love the animation for the for the bullets flying out of the gun. I I that was, was so satisfying as a kid. It was good. I always like little things like that. I don't know why. You know, it's kind of silly in a way, but it is pleasing. It adds to the presentation. So, 203, what is in thee? More zombies, of course. What else would there be? Two zombies. And we have a red herb. Oh, that magazine swap is so slow. It's so slow. But that's okay. I hope there's not something larger on the way because we don't really have the equipment to put it down, sadly. We've got two handguns. Now, obviously, sadly, even though we have two handguns, we can't pop them both off at the same time. This is an intercom. To call a nurse. Well, it might be useful to call one. Although she'd probably be dead and, you know, a little bit hungry for flesh. Not really the sort of nurse that we want looking after us. Not really. Now, there is a good variety of enemies in this game as well, which we will um, find out as we go. So, next into the operating theatre. Hey, friend. Oh, God. See how many bullets he took? And we have a manhole opener, which is a little bit telling for what's coming up next. And this is where we get to perfectly demonstrate the fact that we can shoot through glass. 
actually quite cool. Now, there's nothing in this next section here, but there is another zombie. Hey, sir. I don't know what it is with these um, doctor zombies. They actually look way more messed up than the standard ones. You know, the normal dudes. Anywho, let's go. So now we have another key item. Oh, shit. Yeah, you didn't think it was going to be that easy, did you? We have a Mr. Frickin' X breathing down our necks. Luckily, these are not exactly tough enemies. Uh, unfortunately, did take a bit of a shitty hit there. But that's okay. I'm just going to keep rattling away at this guy. Can do slightly more damage if we aim at his head, but it's kind of hard to do so. If we do take them out, we do get a reward. Give it to me. You've obtained some shotgun bullets. Yeah, I'm not sure why it calls them shotgun bullets, but hey ho. We're not going to question it. All right, let's ride the elevator down and get the flock out of here. This room is a bit savage because there's loads of stuff everywhere. So we're just going to run through. You can cut. Ah, get the fuck off me, dude. Go straight through that room. If you stay and fight, you're probably going to die. Or at least take heavy damage anyway. So it's straight up not worth it. Anyway, that's like the end of the hospital adventure already. What's that? This appears to be the emergency switch of the dynamo. It's not responding. That's unfortunate. We've used the manhole cover. So this ends that section. And this pretty much takes us back onto the next section. You see we've got another ladder down there. And there's another door over there. But that's not the way we are going to go. Oh, no. No, no, no. Now, uh, I think I have a better save state than that, surely. That's this one. Really? Okay, well, I guess we're going to be doing this bit again. Luckily, we have the power of fast forward. <laughs> Gotta love these emulators. Got to love the emulators. I'm gonna grab the key. We're gonna look over here. We're gonna grab that. And we're gonna head up here. <laughs> Liquor's my ass. Just fast forward this. Isn't aren't these emulators fantastic these days? Right, so we checked out the hospital. Next, let's have a little look in the library, shall we? Oh, there's a goblin. What are you talking about, Vincent? Very small man. Please don't kill me. What? What do you mean? Well, there's a very small goblin man that kind of looks like he shit himself as he run ran off. Strange. Okay. This is a guide map of this library. All right. Cool. Well, some library it is indeed. Well, it doesn't look like there's an awful lot we can do down here. A picture is hung on the wall. Yes. Vincent, yes it is. Well, we can't follow the goblin, so we're going to go up the stairs. I think, apart from a herb here, it's pretty much sweet F.A. Very fancy building, though. Look at this. Very nice. Beautiful, even. So, no point hanging around. Something ugly might come along. 
like the Goblin Man. What? What is this? <laughs> it's such a shame that you must die here, Benson. After all, this is the type of place where a cold-blooded murderer should die. <laughs> hmm. Seems a bit ironic you calling me a murderer. Apparently he's locked us in here, and that's bad because of reasons. Okay. Oh, we can't go that way. Hmm, you can hear something trudging around. And we have very dramatic music. Ah! We have a hunter. Yes. Hunters in this game. So we've got hunters, we've got lickers. We've got a little bit of everything. We've even got goblin men. I haven't had goblin men before. Yeah, we should be able to pick this gun up. One thing I will say, it is very hard sometimes to pick items up. This is handgun D. Now, handgun D is quite a spicy meatball. Handgun D only holds eight rounds, sadly. But if we have a look at handgun D, it's the Nabu 14 Custom. This is Japan's first automatic gun which was used by the Japanese army. Yeah, this thing is powerful. It's ridiculously powerful. It has a very quick reload, only eight shots, but it fires incredibly slowly. So unfortunately, uh, why, why won't you exit? Cancel. Can we exit, please? Thank you. Jesus. Yeah. Ah, where is our friend? Oh, hello. Just jumped in front of us. Yeah, you can see how powerful this gun is because it makes the screen kind of jib out all over the place. And look what it does to a hunter. Yeah, when we fire this gun, it really does bounce the screen around. So this is... You know, some people might like this weapon, and that's fine. But for me, the fact that it only holds eight shots and it's so slow, I think we can do better. So this goblin man is moaning at us for being some kind of murderer. However, he seems to have his own pet hunter locked upstairs in the library, who he's happy to feed people to. Hmm. And we have dogs. But we're not going to bother the dogs. We are out of there. Literally not worth fighting. It's quiet. Oh. It is quiet. It's too quiet. But I guess we have liquors. One at a time, please, people. One at a time. Oh, actually stun-locked him. There we go. All you got to do, literally, just as long as you're quick enough, just turn to the side, and they're that easy to avoid. Now, it doesn't always work, because sometimes... You get greedy, like so. But uh, yeah, that's the general gist. It's quite easy to avoid a hell of a lot of damage. Uh, you've obtained Umbrella's top secret file. Oh. Umbrella confidential, uh, confidential document. One second, guys. Right, okay, anyway. Uh, so, for your eyes only, this file contains data for the BOWs created by the virus contamination that occurred during the biohazards. Okay. The first biohazard, this none of this was proofread, by the way. Uh, the first biohazard was caused by the T-virus leak at Arkley Laboratory on May 11th, 1998. The second was the large-scale biohazard at Raccoon City, which happened four months later. Although they're not Although they have not been confirmed yet, note that there may be BOWs other than the ones listed below. The data 
for those will be filed when it is ready. BOW File 1 Zombie Humans who are contaminated by the T-Virus They have lost their consciousness and wander around on their instinct and appetite to satisfy their hunger for human flesh. Tactical Procedure As their movements are slow, they can easily be eliminated if you keep enough distance to snipe. BOW File 2 Cerberus Dogs which are contaminated by the T-Virus Their bodies have not rotted as much as that of the zombies so they can move much faster they're very sensitive to noise if they hear you run they will pursue and attack you tactical procedure you can eliminate them with a handgun but since they are fast it may be difficult to aim BOW file 3 liquor they are created by a mutation that occurs when a zombie is contaminated by the t-virus a result of the transformation process they have uh, conspicuous uh, conspicuous features like exposed brain tissue and they move around on all four legs compared to the zombies they possess incredible agility they have no eyes and are unable to see instead they have an abnormally evolved sense of hearing tactical procedure as they attack in response to sound you should be careful when firing at them since they are very keen they are very keen to hearing footsteps you should avoid running when they're around uh, BOW file 4 Ivy BOWs which are created from plants, they can move on their own will by using vapors inhaled through their skin. They move by using vapors inhaled through their skin. Watch out for their tentacles which are used like whips. Tactical procedure. As fire is lethal to them, a grenade launcher is a very effective item. Oddly uh, specific. Okay. Uh, BOW file 5 Hunter BOWs that are created when the T-virus contaminates the human DNA since their lower body muscles lower body muscles have been enhanced they can jump incredibly high and attack enemies with razor sharp claws tactical procedure just before they jump at an enemy they stop their movements momentarily you should attack them during this time BOW File 6, Tyrant, the ultimate result of our BOW project with the T-Virus. Based on the regular Tyrant, the more ferocious Enhanced Tyrant and Nemesis, which is even more aggressive and intelligent, were created at our European branch. Tactical Procedure, there are virtually no countermeasures against Tyrant's incredible power. It's starting to sound like Wesker. Uh, BOW File 7, Prototype, they are not yet complete, but... Logis uh, logically speaking, we can create and mass produce more ferocious BOWs by adding certain materials during the process of cultivating tyrant's genes. However, there's one problem. Yes, I guess that's for another time. Interesting stuff. Okay, let's continue, shall we? Now, where has that little mole man gone? The goblin. No mention of him in those files. Oh, hello. I guess you're not a goblin man, are you? You're done, son. Who else do we have here? You. Hey, friend. Come on, buddy. Take your medicine. That's a good lad. So there's our manhole opener. Empty this gun. It takes ages to empty this gun. At least it feels like it does. Ah, and this leads us to outside. With lots of dogs. Lots of dogs, but the manhole cover that we need to go to is right there. Uh, charge! Yeah, we don't want to fight dogs. Dogs are frustrating to fight, to be honest, even though they only take like two bullets from this gun to take out. Yeah, this is a room of nightmares. It's full of bugs. Full of horrid little bugs. But anyway, thus ends our little adventure because you can see we're in the same little sewer area now. So... Uh, I'm going to end the video here, guys. When we come back, we are going to try the third and final option.
which is the way that we are actually going to be getting down here. So thanks for watching, guys, and as always, till next time.